Well, hello there. This is Brian from quantlabs.net. Um, just wanted to go over this week's uh, summary, I guess, of uh, things that I've learned, things that will help you out. Um, I've been looking at uh, different strategy methodologies um, to build, uh, I guess, more dynamic um, based type of uh, strategies and models and algorithms. Um, what you're looking at right now is a recorded webinar on algorithmic trading using uh, MATLAB for obviously financial applications. Um, the, I mentioned this tons of times before, uh, the recorded webinars are, are an excellent resource to learn from. This specific one that you're, I'm, that you're looking at is free, um, just to see the power and the abilities of, of MATLAB and how to develop a dynamic uh, strategy and how to optimize. Um, I'm just mentioning this as, a, a, as an excellent base to learn how to build um, not just an, an algorithmic trading plat, uh, system, but also a uh, high frequency trading platform. And uh, of anything that I've seen online, or even um, in, in any kind of book, this is the best uh, resource I've seen yet. In terms of, uh, it just shows the power of uh, MATLAB. Not only that, it will show how, um, just how capable MATLAB is and how, I, I don't want to say easy it is to use, it's not. But to do this kind of powerful type of development, but it can be done fairly easily. Um, with MATLAB, uh, it's just it's pretty well an industry standard on what a lot of industry are using. Um, I've done my verification uh, through major job uh, job descriptions. Large banks, large insurance companies are, are is using MATLAB. Uh, if you are learning R, nothing wrong with R, but it's more of a academic uh, type of tool. But for industrial. Um, it seems that uh, MATLAB is definitely the way to go, and as I said, I point back to this type of webinar to show the capabilities of building um, very powerful uh, platforms. Now, this is uh, intelligent enough to be able to use um, uh, either a technical or quant-based or fundamental type of analysis. Obviously, um, I find that the quant is better, um, but this webinar sh is using um, uh, technical, using an RSI, a moving average, as well as Williams. Uh, nothing wrong with those, um, but it comes back to the technical versus quant versus fundamental. I think each type of analysis has its place, um, but one of the major gripes that I get about technical is uh, you cannot really estimate properly on past data or past patterns. Um, other people might have different opinion on that, that's fine, um, but one example that I've seen the really well off guys doing this sort of thing are the quant guys um, because it's based upon pure math and nothing but um, and uh, obviously from my perspective quant's the way to go um, and again in my perspective you would obviously use um, technical analysis as part of a way to screen out um, your best performing equities or assets and then use quant analysis on those specific assets so that's my <coughs> strategy that I'll be um, moving ahead with but um, again, this webinar is definitely something I'll be using as a, as a base. Um, and part of this webinar does include uh, genetic algorithm programming, um, which is kind of cool because um, using MATLAB, you can develop a strategy and then use genetic algorithms or evolutionary learning to be able to have one strategy crossbred with another strategy and then be able to optimally um, have a set of indicators against a, a variety of, of, of data. Now I might be sounding like a mathematician here, some guy with a PhD, I'm not, um, but it's just from the amount of learning, uh, but this is, this is the sort of thing you can quickly learn about from um, this webinar for an hour. Also, uh, the power of this is it shows you how to deploy 
uh, your models and your strategy into something like C or Java or C++ um, as well as you'll mention here that there is uh, talk of, of GPUs, FPGA um, as part of the deployment as well which is another fantastic option uh, coming from the environment and development uh, capabilities of MATLAB and it can be done fairly easily and quickly so again more reasons to use MATLAB but um, all in all something I would recommend uh, if you are getting into this uh, and especially for high frequency trading hopefully I'll help you out